Now, earlier this week, Bulldogs head coach Brent Thompson said his biggest frustration was with the defense. That's a defense that kept the Bulldogs in this game. That's at least for the first half. Some fans have already gotten here, including Ravens sister Tanzania and her mother, Clarissa. They are so excited. Y'all, what does it mean to be seeing Raven compete at another Olympics? I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's, yeah. And what do you wish you could say to her right now, just minutes before her shot put competition? <laughs> Well, it's a little thing. I don't know if I can say it on TV, but yeah. that's it. <laughs> a win today over Missouri, and the Gamecocks could be dancing come Christmas time. Carolina still riding high I after that win over Florida last week. Place. Jason He's Brown back good. under center for Carolina for today. Great. Now first quarter, Brown and the Gamecocks march down the field, touchdown. cap off its opening drive with a Kevin Harris touchdown, his fourth of the year. Now Carolina goes up 7-0 early. This former barbecue restaurant behind me here has burned down to the ground. That run is starting in less than an hour right here at Liberty Square in downtown Charleston. They're embarking on a run that is going to take 122 miles and they're going to Columbia at the State House. This is Chris Sutter. He's going to be running and Chris just going to tell me why are you running in this run for the fallen? It takes a little bit even to park out here on Kiowa and then take these shuttles to the actual ocean course. Now, yesterday we rode that shuttle. It took about 10, 15 minutes. Well, if there's anything today has taught us, it's that football seasons are long and a lot can happen over the span of four months. After a rough start to the year and a disappointing stretch in October, the Clemson Tigers appear to be trending in the right direction. Dabo Sweeney's club winners of two in a row, looking to make it three straight against UConn. On. Folks from Dorchester County, the town of Somerville, and Dorchester School District 2 gather here today to kick off the renovations on John McKissick Field here at Memorial Stadium. But all of the main brawl matches will be shown on the tennis channel so you can still watch it. Now this open, it features a player field of 56 women's tennis players from 21 different countries. The I-26 eastbound right near the mile marker 214 is completely closed. This is David Verhalen and David, did you pick this site because of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine? With this 34 to 7 loss to Mercer, the Citadel Bulldogs moved to 1 and 4 in conference play and 2 and 6 on the season. Now they travel to Birmingham, Alabama next week to take on the Samford Bulldogs. Alec Murdoch is charged with two felony counts of obtaining property under false pretenses. It's supposed to become an education center here, one that's close to the hearts of some Mount Pleasant natives. Now, if you can't make the tournament and you still want to get some of your PGA Championship gear, he says some of those items will be online. Now, some of those items are exclusive to the tent here on Kiowa Island. But if there's some gear you still want to get, Michael, Aisha, I know you guys were looking for some hats that they were out of yesterday. Now, again, they said they're replenishing that gear every day, but maybe you can check that out online. All right. Thank you, Chris. New this morning, the South Carolina Highway Patrol is investigating a deadly crash in Berkeley County. Troopers say it happened last night at 1050 on SC Highway 6, also known as West Main Street near Old Whitesville Road in Monk's Corner. Indiana is getting ready to host the Indy 500 tomorrow, a 500 mile race in the 2021 IndyCar series. And tomorrow is also North Carolina's Coca-Cola 600. Now, no fans were allowed at last year's race because of the pandemic, but this year the stands will be at full capacity. And this morning, Dorchester District 4 is looking for a new superintendent after theirs abruptly resigned. Friday night, the school board held an emergency meeting where they revealed Superintendent Dr. Kelvin Wims had submitted his resignation. 